Welcome to this chapter where we're going to have a look at the most important market formations. We're going to study them carefully and I'm only going to bring your attention to the patterns that I think work best in the market and uh, so that you actually are focused only on them and not kind of being distracted with other patterns with all the stuff that is available out there. Because at the end of the day, you're going to see in just a bit that uh, still those market formations and those patterns are created by market structure and by price action. And this is why I said in the beginning, price action is super important because this is what builds the price and the price actually builds the formations. And from there, we actually can take it, memorize those formations and trade them. And I'm going to explain to you just now why those formations work. So let's have a look. All right. So market formations, why do they work? Well, it's because of the collective behavior of price. And of course, we are a lot of traders out there. I'm not sure by the number, but let's say. Each and every one of us, once we start our journey, we learn about double tops, let's say. So this is a pattern that everyone knows about. And when the double top is formed, there is a big concentration of orders around such levels. And if it really holds, then more orders are going to get triggered and potentially the market is going to reverse from that area, right? So this is why the formations work. Those are patterns that have been identified with time. So uh, you can go back in time and you can see those patterns over and over and over again. And again, I haven't had experience for a lot, or, uh, 20 years to say like if it was like that 20 years ago. But again, what I've learned and what every one of us has learned in the beginning is double taps, uh, head and shoulders, trend lines and all of that stuff. And they do work. Don't get me wrong. Those patterns work. However, they have a little bit of a weakness. All right. So what is the weakness of market formations? Well, it is bank manipulation. So if you think of it, if the banks actually know about, because they know they are on top of everything, all right, we cannot beat them, but we should not try to beat them. We should try to follow them, right? So why you want to be beat the big guys when you cannot, you don't have the money, you don't have the experience and you don't have the knowledge required to beat those big guys. So you should follow them. So what they actually do, they know how we trade. They know our retail, uh, for example, retail patterns, retail support and resistance and all of that stuff. And they know that. So they are going to manipulate above, below those areas, or they're going to make the, the patterns look a little bit more complex. They, they should do. And what I don't like about everything that I have studied so far is that you just get that line chart, that pattern of a double top, for example, and that's it. But as I constantly keep saying to you, the market is not perfect. So you will never have a perfect pattern like this, a double line or something like this, a double top, and then a complete reversal and a textbook retest of the neckline. This is by textbook, but it won't happen. All right. Why? Because the banks know about this and they're going to manipulate price. And even if you enter from a double top, they're going to take you out first your stop loss and then they're going to reverse. So we will be aware of this and I'm going to teach you more about that a little bit later. So what are the formations formed of? I already answered that. Well, they're formed of price action right? Market structure as well. And again, if you understand market structure, you actually don't need, don't need those market formations because those market formations kind of make it a little bit more easy, especially for beginners to grasp what it actually is. But at the end of the day, it's all about the psychology of the market. It's all about why does the market create a double top? Why is that a double top? What does it signify? And we are going to have a look at that as well. Right. So which formations are we going to focus on? Double top, double bottom formation. It is a very often used one and it indicates a strong support and resistance level. Right. It indicates also a potential change of the direction of the trend and it signifies a failure to break above or below structure. And we are going to examine each and every um, formation in great details. Break and retest formation, super simple break and retest, but it's super powerful as well. We're going to use it on all time frames, but especially on the lower time frames for entries, right? And I'm going to explain to you why, of course, break and retest formation works. And then I have a very nice formation. It is the MSS formation, which is the market structure shift formation, which signifies even a stronger reversal signal than the double top and double bottom, right? Because this shows you a failure to create a higher high or a lower low and creating actually a lower high or a higher low, right? It, it, you might get confused, but don't you worry, all right? We are going to have everything that explained. And this is super powerful formation. So three formations, keeping it super simple. And as always, making sure that we are aware of market structure because this is what builds all the formations, all right? I'm sure you're excited. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into the details.